Hello! Thank you for coming to this video today, guys. I really appreciate it. This is my weekly Cardano recap video. This is where I take all the information that you guys have missed, and I sum it all up um, just to a small, consumable video, and then also just kind of dive in a little bit. Um, so we're going to be going over a lot of cool stuff today. Uh, the Cardano Foundation actually announced um, how they're going to be staking their ADA, because they have a big chunk of ADA, so it is really important to know how they're going to be staking and the criteria for that, because that can help a lot of small pools. We're going to be going over uh, Ergo support for Uroi. Uh, Uroi actually added another cryptocurrency into their wallet. Um, we're going to be going over an exchange that started staking on Cardano. Uh, we're going to be going over a new Daedalus release. Um, and then also the Cardano development update. So that's it. It's going to be a good video. I hope you guys stay through the whole thing. Um, firstly, if you want to support me, the easiest way you can do is just leaving a like, commenting down below, and turning on that notification bell. It really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Um, the, the next best way to support me is delegate to either of my pools. I have Bloom and Bloom 2. We have a 2.5 million pledge to secure the network from Sybil attacks. Um, if you guys want more information, you can check out our website. It's bloompool.io. Um, we also have over 3,000 different addresses delegated, so that shows that a lot of people are voting for Bloom. Um, the second best way to support me is downloading the Brave browser. The Brave browser is awesome. It blocks ads and the trackers within those ads, and that stops people from getting your IP address and your location, and it also pays you in cryptocurrency for using the browser. So let's jump into the video now. So the Cardano Foundation has a lot of ADA, um, and that ADA can be used to delegate to pools like mine, or it can be used to delegate to small pools. And a lot of people were asking them, well, why don't you guys delegate to small pools? There's not enough money going around this ecosystem, um, K is too high, and a lot of these small pools aren't going to make it if they don't have some delegation. Um, so the Cardano Foundation actually came out and made a, they made a post on the forum stating what they're actually going to do relative to delegating ADA to stake pools, because um, previously before today it was just delegated to random pools i could actually go out and pick which pools it was because these pools would have 60 million ada delegated to it by one person so like within the top 20 or 30 pools um like i, I think around like 10 5 to 10 of those had that 60 million tag like i know digital fortress had one in each pool if i remember correctly so they came out and said that they're going to be doing this for essentially small pools. So they came out and released the criteria that your pool has to have to actually receive this delegation. And they have six, 600 million ADA um, last time I checked. So this is a pretty big deal if you do meet the criteria. So I'm going to go ahead and read you guys this criteria. So for stake pools to be eligible for delegation from the Cardano Foundation, they must fall within the following criteria. Hold between 25,000 and 2 million as pledge. Operated by a stake pool operator that runs only one pool. Um, that's difficult to verify. I agree completely with that because um, you can just have a pool under a different name. Have an operating cost less than 5% and a fixed rate of around 340. Does not have a high number of ADA already staked, less than 5% saturation. Have validated blocks successfully in the past. Have not been delegated to the Cardano in the last four rounds or delegated by CF in the last four rounds. And they went ahead and they announced the, uh, the first 10 stake pools that are going to do it. So I did some uh, some research here to go see how much they're actually delegating because uh, they're only doing 10 pools, right? So um, my assumption would be they would do a lot more, but you got to think about it as in like it's going to be hard without multi-delegation to manage like 50 stake pools, you know, from different wallets. Like that would just be annoying. So uh, we went and looked at this pool right here, the first one they mentioned, and you can see this is the address right here. 64.57 million ADA is what they delegate. That's a chunk of change. I mean, they're definitely going to make some ADA off of that for sure. Um, and that you can see it switched from Stake Love. That was one of the people that had it prior. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty cool in my opinion. The Cardano Foundation's doing that. Uh, one thing, um, what's funny to me is the fixed rate around 340. Um, most stake pool operators went with the 340 to charge people less. Um, but what's funny is like, in a way, the Cardano Foundation is going to control the small stake pool market, you know, because they're saying, okay, we got 600 million ADA that we'll give to random small pools. Um, and, and <laughs> imagine if you are a small pool and you have, you have a 5% fee and you have a 2 million pledge, right? And two's the cap or say it's 2.1. Imagine if, what are you going to do as a small pool operator? You're going to lower your pledge to two and you're going to lower that 5% to 4.99, you know? So it's pretty funny that, 
the Cardano Foundation is doing this, and it's going to change how small stake pool operators do their parameters. So in a way, they're kind of controlling what the parameters of small stake pool operators are going to be. But yep, that's that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So Uroi actually added support to a new cryptocurrency called Ergo. And if you guys don't know what Uroi is, it's essentially the web browser wallet for Cardano. It's what I use. Um, it's where I store my ADA. It's really nice. It's light. It's efficient. But they actually added support for a new cryptocurrency. And uh, real quick, uh, if you guys want to check out my video from earlier this week, um, it's it's why Uroi is key and can have over a million users in 2021. Uh, I really like Uroi. Make sure you guys check out that video. It'll be down below. Um, I, I think this is big news. So we're going to be creating a, an Ergo wallet and seeing what's popping. So as you can see, Uroi hasn't really changed much. So we can go to add new wallet, create wallet. We can go Ergo, create the wallet. And we're going to do the wallet name and the spending password. But I'm going to go ahead and skip past this to not waste time. So I went ahead and created an Ergo wallet so we could check out, see what's going on. Um, so currently the only functionality is send and receive. Um, I currently don't have any Erg. So we can't do any sending and receiving. Um, also, there's only one address here, um, which is interesting. Um, and they, they don't start with ADDR1. Um, and you can also click that to go on the Blockchain Explorer. Now oh, the Blockchain Explorer is pretty nice. I do like this layout. And they have pools. They have the Ergo U or ADA USD and Erg USD. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I've been thinking about doing a deep dive on Erg. Um, if you guys would be interested in something like that, just comment ERG down below. Um, so yeah, that's really it. You really added some support for a different cryptocurrency. Uh, this is really interesting because uh, I think in the future there's going to be a lot more cryptocurrencies added. Um, they, they, Emergo actually believes that Ergo is the best proof of work coin. So um, I'm really interested to see what happens in the future. I've been thinking about doing a little bit more of a deep dive as this is really the first coin that is in the Cardano ecosystem other than ADA, you know, so... So Bitfinex has started staking on Cardano. Um, they only actually feature six different cryptocurrencies that allow staking. So um, we are one of them now. So now that we know uh, more exchanges are coming into this crypto space, it's the staking game, the stake pool game is going to get more interesting because um, we're kind of all just kind of competing with each other, you know, but now we're, we're competing with exchanges, you know, and I'd rather us win than exchanges, that's for sure. Uh, another update is the new Daedalus download. Um, so this one is interesting, and the reason it's interesting, the reason it's a big update, is specifically because following this download, you won't have to download a new package every time. So when you download Daedalus, what happens is you download a version, you use it, everything's great, but then a week later, they find another bug they need to fix, and then that version becomes unavailable. You can't use it anymore. Well, with the new Daedalus download, 2.3.0, it will actually update itself when you get on there. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy that we can actually use the same version now. I just wanted to let you guys know about that. So news has slowed down a little bit this week. So I actually wanted to give you guys a little bit of content to watch. The um, My Cardano War podcast number three came out last week. You missed that. And then also this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be doing another Cardano War number four with Shweta. Um, you guys may have heard of her before, but to close out this video, uh, we're going to be doing the Cardano roadmap. So they do a development update every week. I like to include these because there's a lot of juicy information that most people miss in here. And um, I read through all of it, and really the coolest thing so far is the Cardano decentralization. Last week, the team performed some prototyping and testing in the Cardano CLI to, simply, or to simplify benchmarking on custom clus clusters. So this stuff doesn't really matter much until you get to the second part. The team resolved CI caching divergences that cache there that calls local overbuilding and are currently working on prototyping the multi-pool capacity in the Ouroboros network. So multi-pool delegation right there. And then work is going on with the new era generalization in the ledger code. The team has prepared an overview of multiple prototypes with algebraic structures for generalized coin structure, which will help create a coin that can be used as a multi-asset. So that's pretty interesting. Um, let me know what you guys think of that. Sorry this video was a little short, not too much news this week. I'm sure the next one will be popping. Make sure you guys come to that Cardano Aura episode number four. I'm really excited about it. Um, if you made it this far, type October in the comment section down below. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your weekend.